Hello everybody, this is Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I do a lot of audio engineering tutorials and reviews for different products that are related to mostly music production. Anyway, I want to pass this information along to my fellow YouTubers and really any audio engineers out there who are desiring higher quality audio without needing to learn too many technical things. The first piece of software that I want to talk about is Audified's TNT Voice Executor. This plugin, which you can use within many different nonlinear editing software, such as what I have loaded up right now, Magic's Vegas 15. And what you do is you put it on your voice track and then you go through the presets right here and find which one sounds the best. And they even have some reverb specialty items, but most of the time you're gonna be doing the one under speech. Now, you also calibrate your signal. So it should be around the yellow right here, but maybe not, maybe keep it in the last green at the top. But if you're confused, just go to the user manual because it's only five pages long. It's very easy to use, it gets good results, and I actually am using it on my voiceover right now. I'm going to let you listen to it before and after right now. So right now the plugin is off. This is my raw voiceover recording. You'll notice that it's duller, it's not as loud, it doesn't sound professional. So I'm going to add it back on now. And yeah, so that's this is just the TNT voice executor on my voiceover and I'm not adding anything else. Now, is this perfect? Is this better than having like five different plugins? No, because you don't have as much control. But if you don't know what you're doing, but you still want higher quality audio, then I would recommend getting this plugin. By the way, I found out that you may not always have it load up in Vegas or whatever your program is. So depending on what you're using, you will have to find this under the options menu, go to preferences. And then once here, you have to go to the VST effects tab. And then by default, this is the search folder, but you can also add up to two more search folders. And I added the second one. Typically plugins are installed in one of two places. And you do have to use the 64 bit version. I don't think it supports 32 bit bridging so 64-bit VST and put it in this folder when you're installing the plugin secondly loudmax this is a free plugin although donations are definitely accepted this one will bring your levels up just a little bit more and it won't allow the levels to go over a certain spot for me that's negative one decibels and I also have the ISP mode on. That way, intersample peaks are reduced, which is something that YouTube needs you to do. Which, by the way, we now come to the final piece of software that I recommend, and that is Meter Plug's Loudness Penalty Analyzer. This plugin actually just came out this past week. What this plugin allows you to do is run your audio through five different streaming services, algorithms they call them. And what that does is it analyzes the audio that is running into it so that it shows you how much you have to turn down your audio or turn it up. There's also a website that you can use for free called loudnesspenalty.com, which I've been using for the past year or so, maybe less. But ever since I found out about it, what you do is you export your audio and then upload a WAV file to their website. I find this a lot more convenient. You also don't have to waste hard drive space or time and it saves on internet bandwidth. If you don't have unlimited internet, then yeah, for all those reasons, these three pieces of software will put your videos above the others. I hope all YouTubers see this video because volume level or audio signal level is a problem on YouTube. You don't want the commercials to be louder than your video program and nothing annoys me more than when somebody has a video up that is like 
12 decibels quieter than the maximum because YouTube will only turn the volume down. They won't turn it up. So guess what? If your volume is that low, your viewers are going to be very annoyed when the commercials come in. So the way that I maximize my audio quality is by using loudness penalty. That's it for the simple tools. If you want to get even more in depth with loudness metering, then the one that I recommend is Yulian Loudness Meter Pro. That one will give you all kinds of statistics. It'll also give you a nice graph to see where your audio is too loud. But the three simple ones to use, the ones that I think most YouTubers can comprehend, are the ones right here. I'll go through them again. Bam. Bam. And bam. And I will link to all the websites in the video description and in the top comment. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know what your experience is with using this software. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If Adam has helped you produce better quality audio, then please consider becoming a monthly patron or donate via PayPal. Bye!